How dare you American commoner or not bow to the queen of Rescovia? That's how she decides to start with us. I don't think so. Today we are back with Faking Mrs. Wright on the episode Choose Your Story by the amazing author Regina. If you have not seen the other ones, there will be a link for you to watch the playlist in the last episode of it somewhere in the little info box. But um, if you need a quick little refresher or you're new here and you've never seen this story before, Faking Mrs. Wright is about our main character who went to Vegas with a little dare, got a little drunk, ended up getting married, woke up, and we found out we married. Not a normal person, no. A prince. Not just like a normal rich person. A prince of a whole country is going to take over the country one day. So now we are his wife. We are the princess of Rescovia. We have finally traveled to Rescovia right now and we are meeting the parents. And the last chapter ended with the queen not liking us. She didn't like us from the get-go, obviously, because she wanted to have an arranged marriage for her son. It didn't work out like that. We're going to see what happens. I hope we got good points with the media that when we got off the plane and they like bombarded us, but we're going to see what happens here. But I hope you guys are excited. Be sure to follow the amazing author Regina. Her Instagram is in my description box down below. Be sure to like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and let's start the drama. Okay, so here's a little intro again. Mother, father, I would like to introduce you to my wife, Valentina Alvinich. Or Alvinich. How dare you American common or not bow to the queen of Rescovia? That's how she decides to start with us. I don't think so. I do not think so. Your Highness. <laughs> Valentina will need some time to adjust to the Rescovian traditions, Mother. We tried. I need to talk to you in private, Prince Leonard. Alaric. Oh, what's gonna happen? I'll be back. So, this is awkward. Are we gonna talk to the... Welcome to Rescovia. Thank you. I mean, thank you. And it's your majesty. Just your something to remember for the next time. Well, he said the next time. Oh, gosh. So this is her. Unbelievable. Everyone needs time to learn. Leonard, this isn't some game. You cannot be so reckless. You're about to be the king of Rescovia. I know. Our kingdom needs a princess who can handle the crown and the responsibilities it comes with. These are rules, Leonard. You cannot marry someone who's not of royal blood. You didn't want to marry Princess Fiona. All you had to do was tell us, um, we would have found a different match for you. Why did you go and do this? I listened to my heart. Rubbish. Just like you, I do not accept this marriage, but we are married. In Las Vegas, you're not married by Rescovian traditions, I refuse to accept this. And I won't be convinced not by you or your father. But mother, you have to give her a chance. She will have a chance at your betrothal. The ceremony we cancel will organize it again. If she stands out amongst the other royal later, ladies, I'll let you get married to her. And this is me being very considerate, Leonard. What a good mother. What do I do now? Thank you for giving her a fair chance, which I will make sure she fails at miserably. Try us. Try us, queen. You're going to be out before you know it. This is your room. Okay. Isn't it too pink for Leonard's preference? I never said it was Leonard's room. What do you mean? Unpack and you can join us for dinner sharp at 730. Those who get late aren't appreciated by the queen, just FYI. If he's out here trying to make us fail... I swear, we're going to take all of them down. So strange, so Leonard and I cannot sleep in one room? Okay, so we got to be... You could certainly do better than her. Stop hating, you don't know her. The queen will never accept her, but at least you convinced her to host the vying ball. I didn't. The vying ball wasn't something I wanted either. I need to show them that marriage isn't going to save Rescovia. Better financial policies will. You went against Rescovia's traditions. If you cannot follow them yourself, you can expect the people to obey you on them. I don't want to rule over the people. I want to make myself be of service to them. It doesn't work like this, Leo. I want you to help Valentina make sure she doesn't feel trapped lonely and stranded in this country she has never been to before. It was a big step for her. Sure. He's totally not on our side. This was a bad idea. Should I even go for the dinner? Elias. How's the day treating you, my lady? 
Don't ask. Oh, wow. That sounds like it didn't go as per the plan. I think I messed up. The queen already hates me. She cannot hate you. Maybe you misread her. I'm dreading going to the dinner now. Just don't talk about random things she hates that. Can't I just say I'm sick and eat in my room? That will really make her hate you. And Ash and I were hoping you could meet us tomorrow. Let's plan this vying ball out. You need to be the best out of all the girls. I'm giving up already. I'll send someone to pick you up so you can come to Ruvia. Okay. Why did I get myself in this situation? You know what, though? It's okay. It's delicious. We're happy to see you're enjoying the Rescovian cuisine. So what do you do in America? I work at a media company in New York. Really? What about your parents? I come from a very small family. They live in our hometown, West Virginia. My dad looks at our family's farming business and my mom stays at home. Oh, nice little roll of your eyes here, Miss Thing. Good to hear that. Enjoy your dinner. Okay, so they left. I messed up again, didn't I? Don't beat yourself up for it. You're doing well. I hope you don't hate me for this. I just hate my social skills for now. I thought I knew better than always making a fool of myself. Relax, get some rest, you'll be fine. Did you find the room comfortable? Can't complain. Okay, the lights in the palace go off at 10, so we need to head back to our respective rooms. All right, good night, I guess. Okay, so... This is not what I expected to be like. I can do better. But the question is, for whom? Leonard says he wanted me to pretend to be his wife so he didn't have to get married to Princess Fiona. There's nothing for me in this. Then why does it hurt when they refuse to accept me? Stop overthinking this, Valentina. You're making this personal because you actually have a big crush on him. Also, don't remember, you get your remote job if you make this little Rescovia tradition thing. If they don't know who the real Valentina is, so even if they judge you, you shouldn't take it personally. I can't fall asleep. Go and explore the palace. Like, why not? I hope we don't get in trouble for this, because... I started walking around the palace hoping to find some clues about Rescovia. I need to know more about it. This looks scary. Oh gosh, girl, run. Who's there? What are you doing here? Mm, mm, mm. I, don't, I, don't, I don't like him. I don't like him. I get bad vibes from him. I could be misreading the situation, and that's on me if I am, and I am very sorry to him in the future, and I will gladly apologize. But I don't... I don't like... Oh. oh my gosh, I was terrified. You cannot walk around the palace at this time of the night, then what are you doing? I was lost. Were you, or were you just nosy? Excuse me? This palace has some rules, Diamond. You must abide by them. The queen has broken the first rule by letting you stay here before any kind of courtship. You should feel grateful. I came here for Leo. I'm not some homeless gold digger who doesn't have a roof on her head. I pay $4,000 in rent in Manhattan, which FYI is going to waste right now as I'm not leaving there. Okay. How dare he? Now, if you're done putting me in my place, can you tell me how to find my room? Of course. Yeah, roll your eyes, Hayden. There you are. Thanks. Good night. Um, do you live here too? Then why weren't you present for the dinner? That's funny because you weren't at the dinner, were you? I don't live here. Why are you here then? Okay. Listen, I know you want to win Leonard's heart, but only that won't be enough to become the queen of Rescovia. Oh, that's nice. Leo and I already married. Not very convincing, Yank. I know there's something wrong in this story, but I don't care what it is or why Leonard is doing this. I can help you. In winning at this vying ceremony, why would you do that? Don't trust him. If I'm sure if you're the one Leonard wants to marry, then you should be the one winning. Oh, this guy is so intimidating, but he's reading me like an open book, but I know nothing about him. May I know your name? Hayden, but you can address me as your grace. What's with everyone and their titles? Titles are important. They're not just given to anyone. We've worked for it. I thought you just had to be born in a royal family. My life has been a lie. Things are always as simple as they look, Yank. I said I'll help you, but that can only happen if you're willing to help yourself. Good night. Mm. I mean, this whole vying thing means Leo's gotten a pass out of his betrothal, right? That sounds like someone who's willing to give up. I don't know. I don't even know if he likes me. That's not up to you to decide. You need to see what you can do. You're not a quitter. You cannot give up. Then what do I do? You still have two days before the vying ceremony. I'm sure you can learn as much as possible. I just want to- Valentina, no. We went in this. I'm, I'm, I'm in this. If it's not for Leonard, I'm not about to have these people walk all over me. Hell no. Stop that. Leo totally likes you. He would never go with these lanes if he didn't. And I want to stick it to these people. You think? I know. Watch us, Queen. Watch us, Hayden. 
watch and learn. I feel so lost right now. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. I haven't seen Leo since morning. Why is he here again? Are you all right? I am. You look like a bad liar. Why do you keep finding me? Well, I'm just making sure Leonard's guest doesn't feel lonely. Oh, can I trust him? You can. Excuse him? Um. Um. I don't have any ulterior motives. Do you have mind reading abilities or something? I'm good at reading people, but you're totally not readable. I'm not supposed to be readable. Can I really trust him? I'm not sure. I know you want to win this, but you cannot win if you already self-reject yourself in your head. Know that you're good enough and half the battle is won. I mean, I know it'll be hard considering you're a basic American girl next door, but you shouldn't give up without trying. Hmm. Well, if this was a pep talk, then you have a lot to learn on how to be a better mentor. Not everyone can swallow cold hard facts, Valentina. You still have two more days you can do this. It's like... Yeah, I'm still sticking to my original theory of I don't trust him completely. He was giving us good advice there, although blunt, but... I always think back to the beginning of the story when he was there with Leo and they seemed really cool and really good. It wasn't until he got back and I was fine with him until that conversation with the queen where he, they were talking about like deceptiveness or something like that. And he was like, oh, don't worry. I've been doing it since birth or whatever his line was or something. That was the only thing that made me switch on him. But we'll see. This is something you need to look at before the annual Harvest Festival. We have a lot of royals from around the world coming in to attend this festival in Roscovia. Sure, father, I can go tomorrow. Good, the earlier the better. I know you've had a lot of distractions with your trip to America. We expect you to be very focused on the country and its people now. I know you understand your responsibility as well as the future king, but I want to make sure. I understand, father. And Princess Fiona will be taking part in the vying ball. We cannot afford strained relationships with our only friendly neighbor. I didn't mean to cause any strain between the two countries. I was willing to talk to them on areas of growth and business. If you hadn't brought up the arranged marriage in the first place, all this could have been avoided. How funny, Risco traditions, Leonard, well, looks like the traditions aren't helping y'all very much, are they? We cannot change in Western as our country. We want to keep our heritage alive. You can keep the heritage alive completely without arranged marriages. But okay. And individuals' happiness matters more than old traditions. Leo, this is a discussion that cannot be drawn to a conclusion to. You're right. I'll head to my site and look up the upcoming trade deals. Good night. These parents are about to be thrown for a loop when Leonard becomes the best king ever. Who is it? Hey, it's me. Valentina. Couldn't sleep. Nah, I miss it in your face. And if I went around the palace, there are odds I may get to see you. You're so cute. But did I did tell you it's not very smart to wander around the palace at this time of night. You could get in trouble. I like playing with fire. I wouldn't have come here with you if I didn't. I know. That is why I know you have nothing to worry about. <gasps> What are you reading? I'll prepare myself for upcoming trade deals. I got a little close and a little library. I want to learn more about Rescovia. Can you teach me? Sure. But right now I'd like to teach you something a little more fun. Isn't it late? We all seem to go back to sleep. Back to our separate bedrooms. Not happening. Oh, going back to Leo's arms made me forget about everything in a split second. When his lips touched mine, all the anxiety that had built up in my head vanished. All I could feel now was his lips against mine and how badly my body was yearning for his touch. Is doing something. You missed me, didn't you? Yeah, I did. I missed you more. This was the thing with Leo. He could actually make love to me without even actually touching me. Sleeping with Prince Charming is exquisite and unreal only until I have to go back to the real world and realize I won't find any other man who could consume my mind to body like Leo does. Well, we don't have to worry about that because you are not. You are a married woman and we are keeping you a married woman. Which is why I couldn't lose this vine competition, because this time, I wanted to stay. I'm gonna show you how much I missed you. Oh. Leonard, is it you in there? I don't know.